Greetings. Uh, I figured I'd do a quick little video about fixing subdivision weights when you've converted a item to be subdivided and it starts falling apart. Um, as you can see with this collar, the corners you can see through because what's happened is when subdivision got turned on you see here if with no subdivision everything lines up but the way this prop was built is probably they were using things like planes and they didn't weld the vertices so when you apply subdivision it starts tearing itself apart and we can fix that in studio um, and it's not actually that terribly hard to do, but there's a couple of tricks for it. First off is <clears throat> with the object at its default size and the way that the studio works when you're um, <clears throat> with it starting to, as you see, as I zoom in, it starts trying to hide the stuff and show through, right? Uh, that makes it difficult to do size um selection right so one of the first tricks here is we're going to go and we're going to change the scale like 20,000 uh, 20, now this whole lot Now I can come in here, and then the next thing I need to do, I need to switch the mode because what we're going to be doing is fixing vertices, right? So I'm going to say that my type, sorry, my type is vertice selection, and then it can actually be easier. Select the vertices when you're not in subdivided. So, like, I can come here and I think the vertices here. Although, if I turn on wireframe, so again, still not really sure where it thinks the clicker point is for the vertice, right? Texture shaded. But if I say base resolution, now I can see that vertice there. I can actually zoom in close because we magnified the object so much. And control click, control just to make sure we. One thing you don't want to do is like have it think it picks something behind where you see. So now I've just selected these three vertices. I'm going to do subdivision weight, set subdivision weight. And you note that by default, everything has a subdivision weight of zero. 10 is the max. So now if I go back and I say high resolution, These, it fixed part of the shape, but this top surface, we can see, must have missed that. So another way to sort of trick to do that, I set the type back to polygon. Select this. <clears throat> now what I can do, I can do, change the selection to vertice. Actually, pick. Sorry. Uh, selection. Vert selection to vertex. Now we've got our vertexes, but what we don't want is we don't want these ones. We only want the corners. 
So I'm going to use Alt to clear that one. Here. Or maybe it'll be easier to put a mode key. Now I've cleared that. So now what I've got is I still have the original three that I had manually selected, but now I've got these other two. So I can say subdivision weight set. And I'm setting it to 10. Now you can see that that <coughs> piece corners are now where they're supposed to be, but yet it can still change this to wireframe. Now it's a little hard to tell because you see through it now, but um, the rest of that particular shape um, is allowed to have subdivision do its thing on it. And so then it becomes a process of going through and doing the rest of it. Sometimes, fortunately, with this prop, the collar piece here is part of the same material group as all the uh, LED casings. So it would be convenient to be able to just select the collar group and hide it so that you can work at the back of the casings uh, more easily. But it is what it is. And I will not bore you having me go through and fix all of these. That trick once more, let's say selection, let's say type is sometimes because I'm in mark sorry look here um vert to courtesy say alt I've just those faces see subdivision Set and actually looks like square again, but we've got subdivided pieces. So I will keep it short with that. Hope this was uh, helpful. Um, that's a sad fact when dealing, particularly with older props, because they were not uh, built with tools that would do auto welding. Um, and if you're trying to subdivide a face because the uh, extra resolution for some of the more modern renderers, you uh, have to then fix weights to prevent them from tearing themselves apart. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the below. Thanks. Cheers.